how many of you guys are actually excited for Resident Evil 9? You see, Resident Evil 9 is my most anticipated game right now. And I have made other videos talking about rumors and leaks if you want to watch them here. But just a couple of days ago, we actually got a brand new rumor. This might be the biggest rumor yet, so you're gonna want to stick around for this. Leave a like and subscribe for more Resident Evil news, and let's get into it. This video is also sponsored by Mecha Japan. They sent me this mystery box full of Resident Evil goodies, and I have no idea what's inside of here. If you guys want to open it up with me, stick around to the end of the video. Okay, so there's this article from VGC News, and it says Resident Evil 9 could be an open world game. It's been claimed. Oh boy, let's get into it. According to X user Dust Golem, who has a long track record of reporting information about video games before it has been made public, Resident Evil 9 is being developed as an open world game. So I'm going to read you guys all of Dust Golem's tweets here, and I would seriously love to hear your thoughts on this because when I read this, I was like, nah, this can't be real. All right, so check this out. Dust Golem tweeted and said, so here's a little tidbit I'll share. Capcom often will green light new initiatives in threes closer together. He's basically saying that usually like three RE games are being greenlit at the same time. It basically talks about about how Capcom really always tries to, you know, do their best at taking full advantage of the RE engine, which is one of the most powerful video game engines to my knowledge. And in his next tweet, he says this, Dragon's Dogma 2 expanded RE engine functionality for open world games. The two other games building on this tech is Monster Hunter Wild, which is the new Monster Hunter coming out, and Resident Evil 9. He then says that the only thing I'll additionally add before going silent and not reading Twitter again for now is part of all three project goals has been to retain the series DNA. DD2 is still clearly Dragon's Dogma, Wild is still clearly Monster Hunter, and the same will be true for RE9 with Resident Evil. And for those that don't understand what he's saying here, he's saying that Capcom is expanding upon the RE engine. A lot of us already know this, but the DNA that makes these series what they are is not going to change. So it's not like Resident evil is going to go full open world like ubisoft where you're going to see quest markers and you know a fast travel system like we're probably not going to see that and there's been a lot of mixed responses to this because it's very easy to look at a headline like this and automatically go into outrage bakba soup who is one of the most beloved twitch streamers in the community said give me 200 hour resident evil game please or this girl right here october she said not much interested in an open world r game, but I would be here for a Bloodborne size interconnected city. Basically, RE2 remakes RPD, but on a much, much bigger scale. And some people are flat out saying, no thanks. No thanks, bro. Resident Evil games have always been on the shorter side of gaming. It feels like a lot of games that come out now are like 30 hours long, 40, 50 hours, and look, there's nothing wrong with that. I play games where you have to commit your entire life in order to beat the game. But Resident Evil games have never been like that. They've always been these smaller scaled games where you could beat them in like 8 hours. Resident Evil games are made to have high replay value. They are games where you are supposed to replay them over and over. I've heard some people say that a Resident Evil Outbreak remake would actually fit better for an open world setting. I mean, just imagine that. An open world Raccoon City where you're roaming the streets and you can talk to NPCs. If any game should go open world, it should be an Outbreak remake where you could fully explore Raccoon City, which is what RE3 remake should have been. But if we're being realistic, an open world setting would not work for a mainline game. It just wouldn't. I feel like it would strip away the DNA of what makes these games what they are. Let me remind everybody that the RE4 remake and RE Village both had open world elements. RE Village had that big hub area where you could literally explore the entire village. Some areas like the castle you couldn't go back inside once you you know beat in that area but you still could go back to the castle so the map in Village was fully open world for what it was. You could backtrack and every time you visited new areas there would be like new doors that you could unlock or what about 
the RE4 remake, the village in that game was fully explorable. So it's not like Resident Evil is, you know, a stranger to open world elements. Like they definitely could pull it off. But I think all of us, or at least most of us could agree that if the game went full Ubisoft, where, you know, you had quest markers and a fast travel system. Yeah, nah, get that out of my face. There was actually this rumor that came out a while back. I was going to talk about it, but I knew it was fake the moment that I saw it. And sure enough, it got debunked. But there's this artist right here that created this concept art for Jill Valentine. And there was this leak right here that came out. Now, at first glance, it does look legit. But I mean, look how cool this would have been. Imagine playing as Jill Valentine in Resident Evil 9, exploring an open city or an open village. And I know a lot of people actually want to see co-op in Resident Evil 9. Personally, I think RE9 should stick to full-on single player, leave the co-op stuff to the RE5 remake. But if co-op was in RE9, I'd actually be surprised. I don't think anybody here can deny that co-op is not bad in Resident Evil. It is actually a lot of fun, especially when you have friends to play with. But to me, in my eyes, Resident Evil mainline games should always be straight single player. I mean, you have RE5 and RE6, which you can play by yourself offline in single player, but they have co-op features, co-op mechanics. And I don't know if I really want to see that in Resident Evil 9. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys want to see in Resident Evil 9? Like and subscribe for more Resident Evil news, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, and welcome to my super scuffed unboxing of whatever's inside of here. But there's this company, Mecha Japan, and they sell a ton of different items, especially if you like anime. And they've compiled this box right here, and they've sent me a bunch of Resident Evil themed items, and I have no idea what's inside of here. And let's get into it. All right, so I've only opened, uh, obviously, terrible uh, job here. This is what my setup looks like right now, by the way. Okay, super scuffed. All right, um, ooh, I'm nervous. I'm scared. All right. What is this? Oh my God. What is this? Dude, that is so cool. Look at this, y'all. It's an umbrella towel. And then I got, I don't know what this is. This is like, is this a hat? Look at, it looks like a hat. And then we got some sort of umbrella bag. This is the bag right here. Oh, look at that, dude. That is so cool. All right. So the next thing we got, oh, no way. Dude, there's so much stuff in here. Y'all, y'all seen the Cerberus dog? Y'all see the Cerberus dot? Oh my God. Look, I'm not about to put this on, on camera for y'all, okay? <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, what the heck? Y'all look at this, right? You got the two little paws, but the balls, right? No way. That is so cool. That is genuinely cool. Okay, then we got some sort of, uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, like I said, sorry if you guys can't hear me. The mic's like, right, yo, what up, y'all? What's that? What's happening? I'm in like a weird position right now. <laughs> Wait, y'all, look at this. It's a Resident Evil 4 dog. What is this? It's like, it's like hard material. I don't, is this like a heat? chain type of thing or oh my look at that i don't know what this is y'all see why i don't do unboxings and full videos because i'm terrible at it okay okay now what is this y'all is this what i think it is are you guys ready for this boom boom it's crazy i just recently thought about buying these oh my god so these are basically like plushies or like these little stylistic like plushies and like these really cool containers i, I don't even want to open it <laughs> i just kind of want to leave it there then we got chris right here i didn't think they were that's crazy the, i did not expect this oh that's everything right there but resident evil products are not the only items that mecha japan sells if you like pokemon or final fantasy or dragon ball or a ton of other brands from japan mecha japan sells those so if you're interested check it out and a lot of items on their website you can only find here they have more than 12,000 plus high quality products their prices are really good for what they sell seriously a lot of the stuff that you see on here you are getting for a steal Mecha Japan also offers worldwide shipping and their customer service is really responsive and extremely respectful. Oh, but that's not all. If you guys use my code in the description or the link, you will get $5 off on any order above $50. Yeah, I know. Also, be sure to follow Mecha Japan on all of their socials, which I'll have down below. And of course, thank you so much, Mecha Japan, for sponsoring this video.